Hey guys, so today is a Monday. It's December 28th and I finally got in to see my doctor about my shoulder and um, after a pretty painful exam of him pushing on me, uh, he's actually referring me to a specialist because the x-rays, that the previous x-rays they took looked like I might have a fracture in my shoulder, which if he thought there was a fracture, I don't know why he did an injection and sent me on my way, but maybe he thought maybe the radiologist read it wrong, so they're sending me to a specialist to review the x-ray and see if in fact it is an old fracture. He asked me if I've fallen or anything. <clears throat> Well, I haven't fallen like recently, but I've fallen a lot. I, and I probably landed on my shoulder a few times, but, or like walked into walls, like didn't think I was too close and like hit it, you know? So it's quite possible. But that would explain why the pain is getting worse and not better. And, um, so yeah. And then, uh, so I have an appointment to see a specialist on Wednesday, so two days from now, thank goodness, not too far off. And so hopefully we'll have some answers for my shoulder then. Because the pain is, is too much. And then he asked if the pain medicine was helping, and I said, yeah, it is, but, I mean, it only puts a band-aid on it. The pain doesn't go away. And I can't just keep taking pills. I need to fix the situation. And Plus, too many pills is not good for your liver. So, <clears throat> he prescribes some, uh, some kind of cream, like a, oh my goodness, what was it? Some, I want to say like, I don't even know. Let me see what this is on this paper. Um, I like what they put down on here. Everything you got seen for, like morbid obesity. What does that have to do with anything? Yes, I'm fat, but it doesn't affect my shoulder. Um, so, yeah, so they did an x-ray and it showed evidence of AC joint arthritis and possible old fracture due to dislocation. So, maybe, maybe I did. Anyways, um, I can't see the medicine that he prescribed on here, but... Some kind of cream anyways. I was supposed to rub on my shoulder, so hopefully oh okay, it's dice dislofenac sodium. Di but anyways, the problem with it is that he phoned the medicine in and I got a call or a message from my pharmacy that they're waiting for insurance approval. So, I can't even get the medicine that's supposed to help my shoulder. I need to call them and find out how much it is because, I mean, sometimes it's like, you know, 15, 20 bucks and other times it's 800 or something and you're all, whoa, I can't, I can't get that. So, oh my gosh, I just need my shoulder to stop hurting. I'm hopeful that it's... I don't know what I'm hopeful for. I just, I'm hoping not to have surgery, but I just want it to stop hurting right now. It's bad, guys. It hurts so bad. The doctor just, he just did a little pushing and I was in tears. Thankfully, Mitchell with me and he even told Cody, it's bad. My chin is hurting. <laughs> Ugh, I've been struggling to stand up too. I feel like I'm losing strength in my legs, you know, to, um, like from the toilet to stand up. And so I'm like leaning on the counter or whatever to the point where I'm giving myself a bruise right here just from pushing with my arm. Oh my gosh, falling apart. We, me and the joke, me and the jokester, me and the doctor were joking about um, how when we're in our 20s, you know, we see people that are 40 or 50, we're like, dang, 40 is old. Those are like old people. And then when you're 50, you're like, 70 is old, you know. And then he's like, that he used to, um, when he would be writing things down for patients, 
you know, if the patient was over 70, he would put them as elderly, which makes sense. I mean, 70 seems like elderly. And he said, but now that he's 65, he's all, mm, you know, I don't think 70 is elderly. I think it's 80 is elderly or 90 is elderly. <laughs> oh, it's just funny how you push the age back as you get closer to it, you know? I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to eat me some soup. Mitchell has a dentist appointment later. That's going to be a whole other video. You have to check that out on um, Crazy Adventures with Coco's channel. It's going to be quite the series of his dental work. He's major anxiety with that. And so, yeah. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Um, if y'all could just pray for my shoulder, that would be great. And then... If I have to have surgery, that everything goes smoothly, and that I can be out of pain soon. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, I can't stand to be in pain, and I can't stand to not do all the stuff I used to do without hurting. It hurts to do anything. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching my videos and commenting. Um, thanks for joining me on my crazy journey here. <laughs> and we will see you next time. Oh, oh, oh.